Hi, welcome to Tech Tuesday. My name is Austin Oseguera with the Utah System Technology team. Today we're going to look at Touch Chat HD and the head tracking movement on this app. So, here we go. In order to use Touch Chat HD, you have to have an iPad Pro. The regular one won't work because you need the two cameras facing forward to be able to track the head. And again, this isn't eye gaze, this is head tracking. So if someone doesn't have good head movement, it's not a good option. So as you see, when I move in front, I can move my head up and down my and back device. and forth. And indeed, Bye. activate by raising my eyebrows. I need to charge my device. Bye. So some of the other Bye. options for activation on this I'll go in here and we'll look at the settings. And we can change the activation of how we're doing that with our head. Um, currently we have it set up with eyebrows up, but we can do it with a hover, blink, mouth open, tongue out, or smile. So you can change based on what the person's needs would be. And just as a quick demonstration, we'll show a quick joke. Why aren't koalas actual bears? They don't meet the koalifications. So as you can see, another great option to be able to allow people to have more interaction with their community or their classroom. Again, this is Tech Tuesday and just a quick look at what Touch Chat HD can do with the head tracking movement. Thank you. The following video is a thank you letter we received from a family of an individual that had ALS and used Touch Chat to communicate with his family. I wanted to let you know that my dad passed away. The iPad with head tracking became the only way we could communicate for the last month together. It wasn't perfect, but it was so important that we had a way to hear his thoughts, feelings, and needs. It meant so much to my family that you provided this loaner. Thank you. He mostly spelled sentences, that was the most important component for us. When he lost control of all the muscles, especially his tongue, opening his mouth still worked to select. I'm grateful for the folks who developed the software thought of that. We also chose a male villain voice in the beginning to tease my dad. It made us all giggle. We never ended up changing it. He declined so fast that was hard to keep up. Now the memory of that silly voice makes my family think of him with a bit of levity. Thank you for allowing us to use this during his last days.